greetings Code Monkeys, and welcome back to Coded Lock Films. As I said in yesterday's video, today I am going to be announcing the winner of the trailer challenge. <laughs> There were actually only two submissions for the trailer challenge, so if you were one of those two people that submitted, you got a 50-50 shot at winning. Before I announce who the winner is, I am going to go into each trailer a little bit and tell you what I thought of it. The first one I am going to talk about is called Return of the Anomaly by James F. When creating this trailer, James decided to go with something that was going to tie in somewhat with the Coded Lock film storyline. And I think it's very cool how he managed to create a trailer that is all about the anomaly without ever actually showing the anomaly. The anomaly is not present in any of the clips I provided, but James recontextualized some of the clips that I gave you guys to make it seem like the anomaly was part of the clips. And seeing as how the trailer challenge is all about recontextualization, I thought that was very, very well done. It's also quite ambitious as it's the only one of the trailers to use any kind of assets. If you don't know what I mean by the word asset, it's basically any type of special effect that is in front of a green screen. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but you can see in the trailer that James has put in things like little lines of fire and, you know, police sirens and this tornado thing. And that, coupled with the anomaly stuff, helps to really create that sort of sense of being a little bit scary yet also funny that I like to do in my storylines. It has these little grindhouse character intros and I just thought it was a lot of fun. The effects are obviously not like super fantastic but I'm not expecting that. This whole thing is very low budget, very amateur and that's kind of what I like about it. Overall I thought this was a really really great submission. The other submission is called The House on Coder Street and it is created by Spartanite67. Unlike James who made his trailer by taking the clips and adding an existing context to them, Spartanite67 created an entirely new context, that of a horror movie. Or if not a horror, at least a thriller. He edits the clips together in a very weird way, but that weirdness kind of gives the whole thing a very off-kilter sort of vibe. Overall, it's much more restrained and a little bit more believable than James's trailer, and it's also edited together quite well. The one issue that I kind of have with it is that the text screens, the font doesn't quite match the, the, the feel that the trailer is going for, but other than that, I also thought this one was very, very well done. But before I announce the winner, I do have to talk about one honorable mention, and that is the trailer made by my good friend BangGeek8408, Matt Guyon. Matt's trailer is probably the best on a purely technical level. Like Spartanite67, Matt also creates a horror context with the clips, but he places Creeper in the role of the horror movie monster, which I just find hysterical. And as I have come to expect by this point from Matt, the use of music is just fantastic. Matt always does a really, really good job of utilizing music in his trailers in a way that is really interesting and really engaging, and I always really, really like seeing his trailers. Unfortunately, he got it in way past the due date, so it is not eligible. That being said, I need to reach a verdict between James and Spartanite67, and it's a really, really tough call. I like both of these trailers for very, very different reasons. I like Spartanite67's video because I think he does a really good job of creating an original context for the clips, but at the same time, Spartanite does play it a lot safer than James did. Like I said, James's trailer is very, very ambitious, especially for someone who clearly does not do this kind of thing very much. So it was very hard for me to come up with a decision about which one of these videos I ultimately liked better or thought was a better trailer. And eventually I sat down and I thought, okay, which one of these videos is more successful at being what a trailer is meant to be? Which one of these movies do I want to see first? And after a lot of internal debate, I think that the trailer I'm going to have to go with is The House on Coder Street by Spartanite67. So Spartanite67, please, in the comments of this video, let me know which of these movies you would like me to review first. 101 Dalmatians 2, Lady and the Tramp 2, or The Fox and the Hound 2. And that will be the next direct-to-video Disney sequel that I review. Thank you to both James and Spartanite67 for your submissions. I really got a kick out of seeing them. Matt, even though you're quite a bit late, thank you for your submission as well. And until next time, Code Monkeys, I will see you later. It was just like any other day. Boobies.